public school kids getting condoms. What's up with that? What's a non-negotiable boundary you have while in a relationship? Does marriage make things too silly? This is the demo track. Ourselves? I go by the undeniable name of Damo. Never been a lame. Oh, it's your boy, that boy Bari. Hey man, I'm Jay Willard, the podcast killer, aka podcast poppy, aka the pop father. And guess what? This is Willow Wednesdays. You about to get some ghetto news from your relationship gurus. Wow! 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 wow. I look That's real good. ignorant. I look real ignorant shooting the screen up with no sound effects. I got to change that up now. All right, my fault. <laughs> Whatever. You real I'll, Jamaican I'll... for that, bro. Huh? You real Jamaican for that. Come on, man. You already know. Mm. You zeet. Oh. Mm. Yo, what's, right. going, what's going on, man? How was your week? What's the word on the street talking? What, what, what's the word? Chilling, 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 man. Um, First week in Atlanta so far. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel yeah. to be an Atlantean? Is it Atlantean? Can I say that? I don't know. What, what am I? Atlantan. 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 An Atlantan. Um, it's cool. It still hasn't sank in yet. I ain't gonna lie. I still feel like I'm going home to Brooklyn. Um, come on, we the greatest ever, baby. That's I'm why like, you already I'm, know I'm what like, time I'm is. I like how you said home to Brooklyn instead of home to Chicago, nigga. Yeah, nigga. I mean, nigga. well. No, I've lived in Brooklyn okay. for 10 years, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You shrug York. your shoulders, nigga. Yo, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, York, bro, you, you just graduated to the Yankee fitter, bro. Like, you officially, you know what I mean? Like, you uh, had the Mets. You had a Mets one. Now it's you. You had a Mets. <laughs> you had a Mets. Now you got the Yankee fitter, you heard? You, listen, you here. You here, bro. I respect it. Nah, I almost half understand what Caribbeans be saying now. So, nah, bro, you. I mean, but you left now, so you might lose a little bit of it. You feel me? Lose some. <laughs> uh, no, nah, but that's pretty much it, man. Just working, chilling. What about that's you, Bar? How was your week, bro? Uh, I was cool. Uh, for the first time all summer, I have st- I stayed home all weekend, literally from Friday to Sunday. Well, to Monday, I stayed home. Oh, I ain't wow. leave my house. Yeah, that is the first. And I ain't gonna front. You feel good. Yo, I felt so good. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like I felt good. Like I didn't leave my crib at all for those days. You just up in the crib, stinking. No showers or nothing. No, I took a shower every day, but it was just. No, I did. No, 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 no. Cause I got, I had to go get the Uber Eats food. No, 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 no. I had to get the Uber Eats food, so I had at least had to smell decent to go get the Uber Eats downstairs. You feel me? Nah, I'm not lying. I'm being so real. No, no, no. I had to, cause not for nothing. I sweat real bad under my arms. My shit be boofing, so I had to. I had to shower. My shit be boofing, boy. Like, nah. I had to shower, dog. Like. I should be breaking news. Bobby be boofing, y'all. My should be boofing, so I can't even play like that. Like I fuck around, miss a day of shower. I smell like I was in Afghanistan, wilding. I can't do that, bro. Oh, that's, that's terrible, bro. That's it's pretty bad. That's how. Nah, that's either diet or bad soap. <laughs> no, I just sweat a lot under my arms. I was sweating nowhere else but under my arms. Who needs Doctor Squatch? What's the shit? Squatch. I don't know, but I'm, I'm an arm sweater too. I came from. Yeah, you know I'm saying so. Like, if I don't shower sweater. for real, my arms is like, hold up. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, they over there doing whatever. Okay, okay, that's that's, do that's you, a good. 
That's a big nigga you, thing. God. Are you, a, you don't you don't sweat under your arms, Jay? You not a arm sweater? I mean, like, not really. Not really? See, but every yeah. no, everybody's sweat glands is somewhere else. Some people is on no, their face. I, some I, people. It, 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 it's a big nigga thing. I get it. I get it. Nah, nah nigga. Niggas, I mean, nah. I used so to talk to this girl. Y'all bigger niggas got extra sweat glands under there. I get it. I get real it. Quick, Listen, I, you, real you quick, just a little nigga. To, that's um, why. I used to talk to this girl whose sweat glands was in the back of her knees. What? <laughs> I'm my bad. I be having these weird ass stories, but I swear to God. So that's wait, tell me, tell me. I got so many oh, questions. Wait, so wait, wait. wait. <laughs> just let me, just let me, let me tell it first. So, so in real life, she was like, I just want you to know. I sweat from the back of my knees. And I'm just nah, like, bro. Nah. Okay. So why was that information relevant? Tell me, why was that information relevant? Okay, because once we had sex, nah, bro. Right? you touched the back of her knees? Bro, her <laughs> legs, her knees <laughs> fucking wet. <laughs> like, God. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> I'm talking like, 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 okay, boom, it got her legs up, whatever, right? No, I'm talking running down. You know her legs are up, so running down her thigh, nigga, is just sweat coming from so the back. Wait, of her wait, wait, wait. So, <laughs> so you, so, so wait, so y'all missionary. Wait, wait, I gotta play this yeah. up. So y'all missionary, right? So you got her legs. You got her legs. Right. And the nigga Dave felt mad water. Water, nigga, coming from the back of her knees, nigga. Like I have never seen no shit like that. <laughs> like, and when she, exp- bro, fuck me up. Cause I was like, you know, you be like, why is it so wet? <laughs> like, I know I'm doing a good job, but damn, I'm like, nigga. nigga, like, I was like, I gotta get a towel for your the back of your side, nigga. What the fuck? Is that? Nah, that's uh-uh. so people. Yo, people sweat in weird places, bro. Nah, I ain't bro. Never seen a no, like yo, but the back of her knees. <laughs> no, back, she's a I mutant. <laughs> yeah. I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. I hope she don't watch it. Like, I know even some people do, sweat. I know some people who sweat on their nose. You feel me? I see. I've seen yeah, that before. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying some people Back sweat. Before, I swear right here. Yeah. Yeah. Some I people sweat, sweat right extra here. on their face, but I've I never. Sweat, in, and some right people here. sweat. Some hard. people sweat in the bottom of their feet. I sweat. Nah, yeah, nah. my feet sweat. My feet sweat. Yeah. My feet don't sweat. Thing. My feet don't sweat. You know what I'm saying? But. I don't know. I ain't never heard nobody sweat. That knee shit, knees, nah. Bro. That knee shit fucked me up too, though. I ain't gonna front. It fucked me up. And then when I saw the shit, I was like, huh. Splash waterfalls in your legs? This is crazy. She was probably I like, I legs. told you. No. She was like, I was just wanted to let you know. <laughs> like, that's just. Nope. That's not something. Oh my god. It's <laughs> the back of your leg. Nigga. <laughs> like, what? Hey, man. Talk to Jesus. I don't know. I didn't make up. <laughs> um, Yo. Anywho. The back of your leg, though. Oh, shit. Right. But my it thing is, really, how did she, really like, happened. find out for real? Like, was she just sitting one day rubbing the back of her leg? Was like, hmm. <laughs> She's like, why my calves so damn wet? <laughs> like, what kind of shit? I have no idea. Yo, she like, mama, every time I go to school, the back of my pants. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm filled. I'm sorry if she's watching this. My bad. Yo, that's, that's crazy. crazy. It's absolutely true. Yo. Can't that's make bad. it up. Uh, all right, so uh, <laughs> soggy knees. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> soggy knees. The shorty got soggy knees, so she can't lotion her legs for real. <laughs> she, don't, <laughs> she don't need to. She can just rub it all in. They can just rub oh, the fucking, just rub the water in. in the fucking floaty. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how you get you get armbands and headbands. She got to put them shits on her. All right. Anyway. <laughs> like, so, uh, what are we talking about? Um, wait, wait, wait. I, I did want to say one thing, um, about my week, because y'all never asked me about my week. I know. I don't give a fuck now. Cool. But it's not about the week. It's kind of about right now. I'm on an edible, and everything y'all saying is funny. I mean, this is a great episode already. Oh, this guy. All yeah. right. Oh, shit. How much this of it did you take? Did you take a, what, was it a strip or a gummy? What? Is uh, two cookies? Two oh, cookies. you took two cookies? Yeah. Oh, this thing is like big this Jason. Solid. Oh, this thing okay. is Jason about to be in there fighting, <laughs> fucking 
Lord of the Rings and <laughs> he about to be fighting Gimli. <laughs> if, if we see him about, like, oh, right. oh, he about to be if, in there wilding. If we hear him making the damn Star Wars sound, we know what that is. He woom, woom, woom. Bro, let's stop the show, man. Fuck y'all. Let's get it. Um, <laughs> not the road course, like a vision, temporary lover, always toxic, oh, half the gas station bill. Sorry. What are we talking about? Um, first and foremost, I want to give a sh- big, 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 huge shout out to the homie Cool Dre, aka Cameraman Dre, aka uh, Cool uh, underscore Dre. Today's my man's birthday. birthday. Shout out to oh, the shit. big homie. I didn't know that. Happy birthday! Facts, Hell facts, yeah. facts, facts, facts. You twenty one. Ag- my man just turned twenty one. You twenty one. <laughs> so, so we gonna celebrate more life, more blessings to you, man. Word up, word up, word up. Um. Also, shout out to the Milwaukee Bucks for winning the championship literally probably 15, 20 minutes ago. Yeah. I was not expecting Giannis to win. I'm not going to lie to you, but Bro, they pulled it off. So the shout out to him. Bucks. And, and he had a 50 ball in a championship game. I no, have never. He's in the chip? Oh, man. man. The last time I seen a dude put a 50 piece in a championship game was probably Lance Stevenson in Brooklyn. <laughs> I have never seen somebody oh. put up a 50 ball in a championship game in a long time. A 50 ball in a chip game? Nah, That's he had tough. like seven or eight, nine blocks. Like no, he, listen. No, they said five. Yeah. I just saw it. That's five? Why. It was five? That's, okay. It was listen, five. That man was hooping. Because the was, one they kind of as a goal is a goal ten. But no, he was whooped, yo. He willed that whole game. I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm, not gonna to I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I feel bad for Chris Paul. Yeah, because this was his only chance. This was his only chance. This was his only shot. He's never, he's never gonna win a chip. It's over. It's over. If there was a time he was gonna win it, it would have been this year. If he was gonna win it, it had to be this year. Bro, it's done. 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 Yeah, now it's done. Yeah. Done. Ah, it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. But once again, shout out to Milwaukee. Shout out to Cool Dre, the big homie. It's birthday, so big things going. Big things are going on here, Zimmy. Yeah, man. Yo, Shout he, out yo, to he, that. He in Jamaica right now, wilding. Oh, yeah, is he? I know for oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they yeah, yeah. out there bugging Living. out. Oh, yeah, now homeboy Deans is getting married. Shout out to the homeboy that's Deans. That's black love, black excellence for sure. Shout out to that as well. Um, Yeah, there's a whole lot of good things going on right now, man. So shout out to that. All right. Um, These topics, these topics. Name a non-negotiable boundary you have when you're in a romantic relationship. Mm. You know, a lot of times... We talk about the things that we had to do to compromise in terms of relationship. What is it that you, you're willing to bend, what you're willing to change about yourself, or what you're willing to just do differently when in terms of dating? But what is it that you're not willing to change at all? Okay, I like that. No matter whom it may be when right. you're in a relationship. So we're going to talk about that. Um, whom? No matter whom. No matter whom, that's what I said. Yeah, there's multiple. <laughs> that's probably that's probably no, English. no, I'm just fucking with you. No, whom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the reason that's, why I say whom is I never forget it. This I was in the eighth grade, and this my eighth grade English teacher when I wrote who, she said Jabari, you have to say whom. I said oh okay, <laughs> never since then. <laughs> so never ever since then, I know how to All use right. whom properly. Um, Chicago announces that they will provide free condoms to ten year olds from the ages of ten and up in public school to all of the children because I'm they assuming fucking the, fucking. the birth rates in Chicago are just skyrocketing and kids are having sex at a younger rate, which they are. I know a lot of kids yeah. who are having sex now at a younger age, so... It's just people in general, but Chicago yeah, is like, so, fuck it. <laughs> so we're we'll going to talk it. about that. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not... It's jokes, but it, it happens in Chicago. They did it in Chicago, but it's happening over it's here happening like everywhere. crazy. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, kids are having sex at a younger age. Like sex, sex. They, it's not even like, oh, we just had sex at one time. Like, I know 12, 13 year olds link and talking about, yeah, I'm about to. Go. Yo, yo, bro, show sure, I young boys in the young boys in the hood, 12, 13 talking about, yo, bro, 12, 13 year olds in the hood. I was at the, bro, I was at the park. I was riding my bike the other day, ran into one of the young boys, and he said, yeah, I'm about to go link this shorty and blow her back out. He's 12, 13. What you know about blowing somebody back out at 12, 13? Bro, they outside. What you talking about? I'm like, I said, what you know yeah, about blowing her sorry. back out? Little nigga pulled out his phone and said, Bari, look. I said, oh, nah, I'm out. This is, <laughs> we not doing this. Not today. Yeah. 
he yeah, tried to get you, he tried to get you caught up with some, some like bro, don't do that. <laughs> don't I said nah. I said as soon as he pulled his phone out, he said, look. I said no. All right, it's yeah, all good. Nah, I nah, believe that's you. That's child I said I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. It's cool. You can keep that. Don't worry about it. Charge, Barry, nah. <laughs> good thinking. <laughs> Nigga, he said, yo, but see, I, nah, you, you right, you blow her back out. Go ahead. You my nah, but it, it, listen, it's it's a faster, it's faster. The kids is out here, they, they outside, okay? They outside. Yes, yes, yes. Um, also, we're going to also talk it. about uh, yeah, there we go. Safari. He was on, I forgot what radio station he was on. He was in an interview and he was talking about marriage. And he said, um, marriage puts a whole lot. How did, what did he say specifically, Willow? I don't remember specifically. He, what said, he said, um, he said basically ma- marriage makes things too serious. Too like, serious. It, yeah. Ma- marriage makes your relationship more serious or too serious. Or, what, we got the video. We'll play the shit. Right. Um, and we have one more. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to it, but, uh, it says a lot of straight men don't like consensual sex. That's why they call sexually liberated women easy. They ra- they much rather co- coerce you into having sex opposed to immediately consenting. Mm, okay. So I'll, if we get to it, I'll ask you gentlemen. If, if we get to it, if we get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. If anything, we say it I, for I next like week. I like that topic, though. I, I like that like topic. Yeah, I do like that Yeah, topic. if anything, we'll save it for next week and we Word. see what's up with that. But, um... Right. So, Press the uh, drop. I don't know who got the drops. Ain't, ain't no drops. <laughs> <laughs> What's the fucking topic, man? Ain't no drops. Let's um, do it. Well, uh, Wednesday, day, day, day. There you go. Cool. Uh, let's start with your topic, Willa. I want to start there. All right. Mm. Wait a minute. Yeah. Does what? marriage make things too serious? What? Hold on. <laughs> we got a um, quick rest in peace. Oh. Oh shit, Biz Marquis. Um rest in peace. One of the icons of hip hop, Biz Marquis just passed last week. Yeah. Um uh they said it was complications with uh diabetes. Um he's had diabetes for a while too, for from what I heard. Like he's had it for yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And um so complications and I get it, you know, it's the it's the fight you gotta deal with. But well, rest in peace to Biz Marquis, man. Definitely a, a icon as far as uh, hip hop in the beginning and you know, just just everything we do now, man. Trust me, that guy has, mm-hmm. has had his hand in it somehow. So yeah, it's a rest in peace to him, and uh, rest in peace to Keisha Cole's mom who passed too. Yeah, um, losing your mom ain't no joke, bro. I ain't gonna. That's go true. Like yeah, and I just want to say that that's real right. quick. You know, God bless the dead. I'm big on that, man. You know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Praise to Ke- praise to Keisha Cole because that's praise, that's condolences. Up. Yeah. Because her mom, that's her mom was going through a, her. Her mom been through a lot. She's done Definitely. a lot of craziness, but at the end of the day, that's still her mother. Definitely. Definitely. So, yeah, so prayers to that. So, cool. That My bad. Right. I just wanted to say that real quick, man. No, nah, I don't. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Sure, so, what's your sure. topic, sir? <laughs> oh, yeah, there was a sh- uh, safari in the interview saying that marriage makes things too serious. Okay, so that's the topic. Does marriage make things too serious, or what do you... Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Let's um, do it. What yeah, do you think? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to play the clip or do you want me to um? Do you guys have a clip? Yeah, we got a clip. Yeah, it's in the it's, it's about a minute. You want to like chop it in half? Yeah, we could do that. Right, cool. You want to play it? I'll... Play the clip. Hold up. Let me see where it's at. Mm. Oh, well, it does. I feel like when you get to live as like boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, grown man, real talk. I know it may sound childish and immature, but it's like marriage, I just feel like it just makes everything just way more serious than what it needs to be. Everything. Going to the supermarket, going to pick out the garbage, just everything is way more serious. And I know there's some people who are like, oh, I've been married for 20, 30 years, and this, that, and the third. Like, all right, cool, that's great, that's y'all. We live in a different era now. And especially with this era of social media yeah. and, and, and people letting it really like affect what they do on the daily yeah. like it's, it's it's not the same as especially being in the public eye you know there's people like yeah i've been married for 20 30 years but yeah y'all everybody in y'all business I- 
right, so, cool. I'm gonna ask you gentlemen around the room. Well, not in the room. Well, in the room, yes. Do you <laughs> think marriage makes things more serious or too serious? Start with the married man first. Mr. Willa, talk to me. Uh, I do think that marriage makes things more serious. Or yeah. too but serious. Too, yeah. What about the word too? More and too or too it changes the dynamic. So no, does it doesn't make it fact. too serious? It's a, a fact. So does it make it too serious? I personally feel like it does make things too serious. Mm. But, okay. But on the flip side, in that same token, it is serious. You know what I'm saying so. Okay, because you're married. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it does make it serious, but yeah. I do I do hate the fact like I'm torn because I I definitely can recognize that this is serious. This is, this is not like oh it's a boyfriend girlfriend thing. This is it, it is serious, right? Well, so if it's a social constraint you put on it or biblical, however you want to take it, I feel like it it does make it serious. It is serious. Mm-hmm. What I hate is that it can be too serious because you're married. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like I, if you're the, the normal, playful individual before, and then you're the same normal, playful individual after, right. nothing should change. Right. But if it, changes, it, but it changes because now the, that, the title of the marriage is on it. Right. I get it. And that that's that's my I guess that's I'm, I'm on both sides. I don't know. I'm on the fence. No, I get it. Dan, um, talk to me. What you think? I mean, obviously I've never been married, um but but I do recognize that like um whenever you do like relationship type of stuff, for some reason everything tends to change and it's the weirdest thing. Yeah. It's like I'm like you say, I'm I'm a funny, goofy, laughy guy, and then we be like this all the time. It's like now you're my girlfriend or my woman or something, and then all of a sudden that ain't funny no more because you my girl. Like it's like what happened? Yeah, like why why does why that's not funny no more? I don't understand. Right. You know. So, but if um, I was married, I don't know. That I agree with y'all. Want to give? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I agree with y'all, but maybe I have a different opinion on it because. I look at it even before marriage, you have to become boyfriend and girlfriend, right? And I don't know, maybe you guys can agree with <laughs> <Do> that. <you? laughs> hey, some people could jump, you could jump straight to the shit, you know what I'm saying? But um, a lot of times when you... That's it. We're married. You know what I'm saying? But use co-workers, today this is my fiance. <laughs> okay, but um, a lot of times when you're dating someone... You're tr- you like them. You're just doing whatever it is you're doing because you want to do it. But then the moment you become connected with an individual, it be- it doesn't. It's not something that you want to do so anymore. It's something that you have to do. A lot of times okay. when it comes on to relationships, and I feel like when it comes on, especially with marriage, yeah. now it's okay. No, you have to do this. this is, I'm not. I'm not asking you to do this. I'm telling you, you have to do this. Why? Because we are married. You have, this is an obligation you have to me because we are married. Instead of it being something that, hey, I'm doing this because I just want to do it. And I think that's what the stipulation that, and what he was trying to say that puts on relationships a lot of times. People, men or women, men and women, they pressure each other to make it seem like you have to do something once you're married. Once I'm married, cool, I have to give you this. I have to do Not that. Get it. I have to tell I you this. It. I have to tell you that. And it's like 30 second time out. Granted, yes, we are married, but why does it change the dynamic of it just being something that I want to do? Right. I get that. And then when you, because we all know, I'm hard-headed, you hard, and the both of y'all are hard-headed. You tell me I have to do something. I'm going to be like, why? I don't want to do shit. Now I don't want to do nothing. Now I don't want to do it. Don't tell me to do shit. I don't want to do it. So, like, fuck are you talking about? Oh, you got to call me. You got to call me when you outside late. I don't have to call nobody but be myself or my mama. I don't, what are you talking about? It's it's some childish shit, but I get it. And no, it is, and I and I and I don't want to make it seem like it's not. Well, not well. All right, so so Jay, you be feeling like all right. So example, just a crazy one. Like if you go like to the grocery store, are you feeling like man, I'm just getting food for the house, or do you feel like I'm getting food for my wife? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like does that? 
feel different. And I'm not, I'm not, just, I'm just saying, oh, like, I'm gonna go even further. Anytime you go to get something to eat, right? You go to get something to eat, or you go to the store and buy some sneakers, some kicks for yourself, right? Do you feel like you have to now make sure you at least attempt to buy her something? <laughs> or can you just walk in the crib and not even say nothing to sis with a bag of sneakers? Like, yeah, you know, I got some shits. These shits is fine. You see my J's? These shits is lit. Say, no, no, I was just going to say, you got to be like, well, baby, I tried. Okay, I tried. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, can you just walk in without saying you tried? Or you got to at okay. least be like, yo, babe, I asked you a size and they have it. I, I would tell you this. If you walk into that house with a bag full of shit for yourself, <laughs> and don't have at least a little, <laughs> a little bit of sneakers, bro. Nah, nigga, that is a war, bro. It's over. It's over. This is my point. That it it's changes over. shit. Before, but before, if you'd have walked in the crib with some sneakers, she'd be like, "Oh, okay, you went shop, you went, you was fly." I'm saying, "Oh, you look lit, baby." Now you walk in the crib. That's funny. Honest, if you. If you Bro, I, but I don't know that stuff. Cause I feel like today, <laughs> bro, I'm saying I'm saying this stuff, guys. Bro, bro, I agree with you. I agree. But today, Love women, said. they they'll fuck around and I don't, I don't know, bro. Bro, bro I why, get it. That's I mean, you're the one that's married. That's why we ask it. No, it, it's it. Just, just know I won't do it. I'm not going no, to shop and come home with wild bags for me and nothing for white. <laughs> That's, that's Mind not, you, right? but this is but the, but the the point I'm making is if she was to go out, let's say she was to say, yo, you know, oh, she so just and, go to the mall and she bought some shit for herself and she, and, I don't feel, I don't, I'm, you know what, never mind, I'm, 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 you know, <laughs> listen, no, no, bro, stop I'm putting I'm pressure. Just, go for it. Go for it's it. too late. No, it's here. It's here. It's, 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 it's here. here. I'm saying. saying I don't feel like as a, as men we would really care if our lady went out and bought herself some shit. You know, she just felt like buying herself some sneakers or some shoes or some shirts or whatever the case may be. And you see her like, oh babe, what happened? What's up, baby? What you doing? Oh no, I went shopping. It was lit. You know, I got some cool dope clothes for the summer. I feel like I'm gonna be real nice and fly. Oh, I bet. <laughs> I mean, that speaks to another issue, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? But that's being but, just, issue. but I'm talking why, about the seriousness of it. Because as a man, why you can't get you some shit and on your own and not have to bring your wife some? Damn it. I said it. What's wrong? What? I don't know. I'm not married, so I can't <laughs> tell. I can't hear hey, you. Oh, 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 can't hear you. Can't hear you, Jay. Hold on. My bad. I was on mute. What? Okay. <laughs> you mute yourself. <laughs> Yo, you and see, that's that hot shit. It's that fucking good that edible you took. <laughs> Word. Open eating cookies and shit. Yo, bro, but I, uh, I, I, it's like what? So in that sense, right? Is there a way to to not allow marriage to make it too serious? I hope I asked it right. Did I ask it right? Wait, one more time. You gotta get that. Yeah, he is. Is there a way? To make marriage not make your... Is there a way for it to not be too serious when you're married? Are you hot? Okay. Me? No. You sure? No, I mean, okay, is, is there a way to make things not too serious when you're in the marriage? That's what you're yeah, like, you see how, like, Safari said, yo, when you get married, things become too serious. Is there a way to make sure that it does? It stays the same or you got, it's not too much pressure on it because now you're married, quote-unquote? I, I, I would say this. At this point in time, it's over with. It's, it, there's, there's no, there's a point of no return. We, we, we all know, we all know what it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be, what's going. Yeah. This is this is not like a new thing that it's a, it's it's a new idea that's brought to us, and we're trying to not do it. You think it. it'll change? This is centuries in, bro. So this do you think it'll ever change, though? Like, do you I think don't. it'll ever change? No, I don't. I, I I feel like, especially in this topic, if you're disagreeing or going against it, you're the weirdo. It's like, whoa, really? Yeah, bro. That's like the major establishment. Like we all quote unquote know what's supposed to, how it's supposed to go. 
So but I don't want it to be too serious. I want to be able to go and get me, get myself some food and not. You know what I'm saying like yo, I just yeah, I I, I bought me some Chick Fil A. I'm saying bro, like you're, you're not coming into the house with food that I'm you not. I wouldn't. Stuff. Hell no. You're crazy. Never. But, I would never yeah. do that. But never. why? But because we know how things are supposed to go. Yeah. yeah. It, that, but that's first of all, I don't want to. I don't want to fight because because. That's a fight. How you fighting about food? It's like word. That's what we doing. Food. You know what's crazy? Um, I just like I've now matured to the point where that makes sense. You mm-hmm. talking about this is a concept that has never made sense. To me. Being mm-hmm. the only child, being me, being my own man, my own self, my own way, my own shit. I've always thought about well, I'm gonna be. I, listen, I'm full. You good? You know, I check on you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I've already eaten. But being older now and seeing, I guess, examples, I can actually say, all right, that makes sense to me now. But literally, that made no, my whole life, I was like, Pfft. Bro, you, you can't walk up in the crib with a bag of food and you about to destroy that shit and wifey sitting right there. Like, you can't do that, bro. Or you didn't you know. even... Oh, you didn't even attempt to call her like, hey, right. yo, I'm about to go to the store. Listen, if, if you got a missed call, that's on you. I, I I attempted, you did not answer. But I'm not about to just do that. I'm not just pulling up after work with wild food about to fuck it up in the kitchen and sit sitting right there. That's that's nuts. Like that's a fight. Forever. But even to, but even but this is how really this is how deep it goes, right? Even with you calling and she doesn't answer. You come home with food. You already know that you're gonna still share your food with her oh, anyway. You want to know why? Because it's things that we know. That's what I'm trying. To, that's why. Look at his face. He look hurt. It's gonna happen it's regardless. It's things that we know. This is not implied. It's it's like a staple in society. You have to do this. Like you want to give you how real it is. I've seen. You know, I've 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 seen women order something. They wanted. They significant order. Significant other ordered something else, and they threw away their food just to eat their significant other's food. Negro, please. <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, wait, that was dope, bro. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm like, I, I don't have no sound effects like a. Yeah. I'm just over here. Yo, shout right. out to Wade, cause that was <laughs> Yo, that was dope. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, nah, cause I'm over here like there's nothing to push. I'm like itching. I don't know. I wanna push a button or something. Like the button. Yo. Oh Why my god. My food, like, it happened. Know. Yeah, clearly. You know? Um That's not that's not happening. That is not not that. I've See, seen I... it. I mean, like I said, I'm learning, you know, and as I get older now, I'm starting to really see, all right, cool, this is what we got to do. You know, but in retrospect, shit cooked for us. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, okay. you know, as far as I'm, I'm, I'm learning how this stuff works. Cause she asks you if you're hungry and you say you're hungry, she makes you a plate of food. Facts. So. See, I was just walking the house full. <laughs> At midnight, my nigga. At midnight. Exactly. Cook you a whole meal, bro. Come on, we can't, we can't argue that. Yo, bro, I ain't gonna hold you. That's probably one of the realest things. Yo, 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 yo. Like you be, it be like one o'clock in the morning, twelve thirty. That's it. I'm hungry. You hungry? Cool. Boom. You be like, what you need? I got you. You did like, oh my god. I'm learning. You know, you like there swinging. (laughs) You like, oh, this is nice. You can sit here like this. This is this is nice. I'm learning, and you know, I'm learning. Sometimes, you know what though? Sometimes I think, um, as we get older, uh, you just have to see examples of 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 quality relationships. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's all I in real life, for the most part, all I've ever seen was tumultuous relationships. I don't even um, know what tumultuous means, but I just have some fucked up ass people around me. That's what I say. Yeah, that's word of the day. <laughs> Wish I had my tumultuous. Had my, tumultuous. Had my, had my ding, but yeah, no, just terrible ass, bad, shitty, toxic relationships, ass, yeah, toxic, all that, all that. That's what I'm used yeah. to seeing. I'm used to seeing people fighting and arguing and cussing each other out 
Yeah. Call each other names, door slamming, and people, I'm going to leave your motherfucking ass and be back tomorrow and shit. I Yo, Wade is killing me today. Ha <laughs> ha, yo. Is that the, is that the message yo, Wade though? is over here dying, y'all. Okay. He, oh, he said okay. that was an accident. He said that. All right, so listen, 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 listen. We got to practice our sounds, Wade, okay? <laughs> this nigga just gong in the middle of it. Wait. Yo. <laughs> that, that sound was crazy. That's what sound effects do you have? Yo, he, don't yeah. worry. Don't, don't even tell us. Don't tell us. Don't tell us. Just you know what? Whatever no, you it. deem no, necessary, just press it. Don't even tell I'm us. I'm with it. I'm with it. I want to be surprised. Yeah, don't even tell us what sound effects. Just that press whatever you feel like, bro. <laughs> just gong in the middle. Of it. Okay. Oh I shit. Really, okay. I fuck with it. All right. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? So we, we uh, next topic. One? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I bet I got another one. We gonna talk about Chicago real quick. Let's talk about Chicago passing this law. Is it a law that they passed, Dame? Do you know, or if it's just uh, they just say it was was a meme I saw. Oh, oh, oh. he (laughs) said. You you, you already know we we like partial news. (laughs) You said you have research, have research, have just partial news. Well, you didn't even fucking research the topics, son. No, no, I looked it up, and it is true, but I don't know where, like, I don't know. No, it is true. I did. No, no, I actually did. You want to know how Dave looked it up? He just looked at the pre- He looked at the page that posted it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I, um... <laughs> Yo, I You going to laugh? You going to laugh? Not, <laughs> not true. Dave, like, the complex? Cool. Yes. Yeah, they're incredible. <laughs> I'm like, they say the room is shady, so apparently... <laughs> You know, um, <laughs> oh shit! It's a colorful room, so apparently they have. You know, all, right, all I'm Yo. trying to say is, no, 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 um, no, no, but but in real life, no, I did. That wasn't the first article I read about it. I honestly, I read another article just scrolling through Facebook, mm-hmm. an article about the same thing. So once I saw the meme, that's when I, you know, put in the group checks. I'm like, oh, this shit is real. But uh, pretty much, Chicago's one of the first now that they're, 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 they're gonna start doing mm-hmm. this all over the place. Um, and it's actually it a should. lot of stuff they it's a lot of stuff they've been doing, good and bad. I, I don't want to get into the bad part, but um but no, so pretty much grade school, uh fourth grade, fifth grade, they're gonna start dispersing condoms and having these early sexual convers um not conversations, but uh, like uh, classes. Sex talk. And, yeah. Yeah, and teaching them about sex ed at the younger age, the ten, eleven and twelve. Um, you should, I agree. And I just, yeah, yeah like, what do y'all think about that? Like, it's 10, 12, 11, is that too young to, you know, to know. have sex? It's, or not have sex. At our no age bracket, it was, it was early. For us, when we were growing up, it was early. But right now, because the way things are going, like I told y'all earlier, these motherfuckers is having sex sex, so. Right. You know. <laughs> Random sounds just keep coming from the left. They just... Fuck it. Throw it in there, bro. <laughs> I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm just... So, because they just have a sex sex, you gotta, like, cool, prepare them. At least, <laughs> hey, right. listen, check this. Bro, little nigga say, I'll yo, stop. bar, I'll... I'm about to... I'm on a bike. I swear to God, I'm on Remsen and Rutland, and the nigga say, yo, bar, I said, what up? Chop it up with him, see how he doing. I'm like, yo, how was your game last week? The nigga said, yo, fuck all that. Yo, I gotta go link this shorty real quick. I got to go blow her back out. I said, you got to do what? I said, what you know about blowing a girl back out? He said, look. And I said, hey, whoa, listen. Was y'all both on bikes? You go do that. You said what? Was y'all both on bikes? Nah, he was walking. I just was curious. I just thought it was a meeting. I was on a bike, you know what I'm saying? I just was curious. My bad. Go ahead. I'm just saying. So, yeah, so he, he like 13. (laughs) I think he 13. Yeah. Having conversations with me at twenty nine, so yeah. like that. So it's like, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm gonna say this. Um, I lost my virginity at thirteen. You lost your virginity. Yes, you lost it. Yeah, so that motherfucker been lost it. But what, what I'm saying is, I'm talking about sex and sex, sex. This shit has been happening. This is, this is nothing new. But 
I commend them for being, I guess, one of the first or the forefront mm. people to bring light to it and try to address it from there. Right. So I, I like the fact that you're passing out condoms. Yes, you need sex education. These little niggas is wow. If I, if I lost my baby at 13, what you think they're doing now? <laughs> Little niggas is crazy. Like, come on, like they wilding right now. If if, oh, if that's what's like, come on. If, if I think to what I was doing, I know they wilding right now. Everything just bro progresses and multiplies. But I think even um you at thirteen losing your virginity, were you like frequently having sex at thirteen though, or was it like a one and done, couple times a one off thing? You know what I'm saying? I, I lost my virginity at 13, and it was pretty active with that one individual during gotcha. 13. Oh, you was a little filth bucket. Was it was it condoms or no condoms? Yes. Nigga, what? I'm scared of everything. Yeah. But that's but that's kind of but that's kind of why everything. No, no 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 babies, no AIDS, nigga, nothings. No. Nah, but. But that's kind of the... <laughs> no way to stop. <laughs> no, nah, but that's but that's kind of the di- that's kind of the difference though, because these kids not scared of AIDS no more. You know what I'm saying? If you grew up in the '90s, everything was you gonna get AIDS, you gonna get AIDS, you gonna get AIDS. Right. Because that was on the commercials, nigga. That's what I'm saying. But these kids, they're not scared of AIDS no more. Because like, now they kill for it. <laughs> that's it. So imagine. Yo, they have a pill. They have a pill that 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 makes AIDS no non-detectable. Age. So so imagine no you 12, 13, 14, this is the first time your little dick is getting hard for the first time. And and you you being able to fuck and she like, "Okay." And you like, "Word?" <laughs> like ah, that's a little wild, man. Mm, mm, you ain't mm. thinking about AIDS diseases? They don't Sheesh. have to, bro. Sheesh. They got the they mind is not on that. Yeah, you take you take the vaccine and you're great, nigga. You can do whatever you want. That's what I'm saying. So, I don't know. I think it's definitely necessary. Um, I agree. Uh, I, you know, I, I like it. I, listen, edu- educate these little niggas, man. Because I know. At least. When, when, when I was a little nigga, there was no education. It really I got, wasn't. I got, sex ed, bro, I got sex ed like sophomore, junior year of high school. Right. That was sex ed. I got sex ed from my cousin, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because we was making jokes in class. Like, this is what y'all teaching us? Bro, like, yeah, we was like, we was, it, it, right. it was embarrassing. Like, oh, that's what y'all talking about? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were way past that. So, yeah, yeah. They need right. to have yeah, this shit bro. in the third grade. Bro, tell these little motherfuckers what's going on. You don't. Well, yeah. well, well, but you know, I like to add real life shit. Your son is seven. Is this too young to talk to him about it? I've already had the conversation. Yeah. But I no, come on now. But honestly, I'm, not, I, I'm me. That is me. I got a video on my phone. I got a video on my phone. Jeremiah was like two, and we was on the bed, and I was like the birds and the bees, and and he's like, oh, like, bro, I've been. Come on, now. I'm not. We're not raised to no square ass kids. All right, but I think two is dragging it. Two, he wasn't two. No, no, he he was. <laughs> No, he was, for the for the comedic part of the video, he was he was young and shit. Okay, and I did All right. you know just for you know, comedic right. purposes. So I'm like nigga, two, like hey, come on. But, but literally recently, he's seven now. Recently, yeah. we had we, we're gonna talk about it. That's good. He knows. He talk about he got a girlfriend, this girlfriend that like they know. He already knows. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Mm. 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 Yeah, I agree. But, Y'all, let's have the conversation because having a conversation will help prevent diseases, kids just being born too early, and everybody being protected. Period. And so. you know, you know what's funny? What's funny is, and us, us as a society, we don't seem to pick this up. It's just fucking mind boggling. Mm-hmm. If you make something a norm and make it every day, it becomes that, mm-hmm. and it's no longer a problem. In France, the fucking legal age to drink is like 13 or some shit. I, I, I might be off, but they drink wine at dinner as a yeah. family. If you, if you take the alcoholism away and make it a thing, 
that might sound crazy, but if, if you mm-hmm. make it a normal thing that people see, they people won't it. be urging to drink like that. I get exactly. what you mean. Right. But, but I'm, I'm sorry. It, Listen, there's, sure so, we over- there's, a, there's a whole lot of loopholes to things. Like, I don't see how you could send an 18 year old to war but, and that motherfucker could lose an arm, leg, blow himself up, but he can't get a drink at 18. He could kill himself for you, but he can't get a drink. Which I find to be crazy, but that's. No, no, I, I, I get that part. What, what I'm speaking to is, is to the part that I lost my part. Oh, that part. It was a good part. Uh huh. But nah, whatever. I was, I was making sense uh-huh. over here, nigga. I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> Run the tape back. <laughs> I was, I was but, making um, sense, nigga. But yeah, nah. like I said, we all in agreement. Tell them to protect the babies. The, the more information they know, the better it informed decision normal. they can make. Normalize. Yeah. yeah. Even make, though we don't want to, it's an awkward conversation. Topic. If you make it normal, yeah. everyday conversation, it takes the stigma yeah. away. But you already know what it is. That Having that conversation is, is awkward. It's weird. And a lot of people don't want to have that conversation. It's, it's Yo, what's awkward. crazy is mm-hmm. sex still to this day, as no matter how much people are sexually liberated, um, whether you're... In terms of who you, whom you're attracted to, whom you want to have sex with, whatever the case is, sex is still such a taboo topic. Period. So remember, you gotta understand, as adults, at our age, people still don't be wanting to have talk about sex. That's you know what on, on some real shit, some shit that um, that we don't know. Well, not saying that I know, but I'm just saying in real life, that's an American thing. All the other countries, they don't look at sex like that. Like other countries don't in america to talk about sex is taboo for, for women to talk about periods with her parents is taboo for 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 your man for your son to say you know go through puberty and and, and masturbate That's, and all that I, kind of shit i can't go i don't know about no, that one what man. i'm what i'm saying this, well this, don't, this is my point my point is is that in other countries it's not that crazy like and i'm not and i listen i'm not saying pick a country and say well not in my country i'm just saying in america Anything sexual or reproductive or anything like that is the most taboo shit. But if you go to France, like you just said, or you go to England or you go to Russia, it's 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 everywhere. It's not such a weird thing because they normalize it, right? Once uh, you normalize it, then it it can't be weird. This is a norm. We, it's regular. I, we talking about in Africa, it's titties still hanging out. Like like it's not. It, they get it. You know what I'm saying? Like in, in other mm-hmm. countries, it's like you 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 grow old. You you have an erection. They celebrate your your son's first erection. You know what I'm saying? Like they they do all of these things in different countries. You know, but in America, it's like you can't even just ask your mom about sex. It's like she's like, oh no, I can't tell you. You haven't sex. It's like yes. <laughs> it's it's so crazy to me. That's why I have the conversation with my son. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? We gonna talk about it? It's gonna be but normal. The, but then it's weird to talk about it with kids, right? But then when they come up pregnant, you mad? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't get that. Are oh, you snapping? He, he's snapping no, right he, now. No, that's a fact. That's that's, like, that's real shit. Like, you don't, you they don't they to come kids. to you, right? They come to you when I ask you about it. You tell them, oh, oh, you shun them away. Yeah, yeah, so when now, that. when the motherfucker come back talking about dad or mom, I'm pregnant, yeah. at sixteen. You're like, how could you have sex? How could you I've been asked you about this. <laughs> like, I've been asked you. I wanted to know what's up, but you never wanted to talk to me about it. So now when I jumped into this shit not knowing, now it's like, nah, oh, it's your yo, fault. That's a word right there. Ooh, it's, it's real, real shit. shit. It's real Ooh, shit. Child. I bet you, I bet you, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say half, but a lot of kids wouldn't have had kids if they just had a parent to have or a person. They knew. Had a conversation, you know what I'm saying? Guidance. Like the number, because once he told me he went, like the young boy, the once he told me, hey, I'm about to go blow Shorty back out. The first thing I said after, yo, what you know about blowing Shorty back out? I said, yo, do you got a rubber on you? He like, yo, bro, what you mean? I said, bro, what you mean what I mean? Do you got a rubber on you? Like, right. what are we talking about? He's like, he yo, bro, I'm like, yo, check this out. You need to go buy a rubber. I gave I gave him three dollars to just go to the store and go buy a three pack. 
I think it's. I hope it's three dollars still. I don't even know. How Bro, much he it. bought wild honey buns and fucking <laughs> shit. <nigga. laughs> but yo, I'm just saying, like yo, bro. But he didn't have one. You, you feel what I'm? Yo, bro, Willa, you see a young boy in your hood. He walk around talking about he about to go clip something. You not his dad to tell him yo at 13 to not fuck nothing. Cool. You know what? You got a condom. Condom. What you mean you don't got? Yo, check this out. Go hold this. Use that. That's the least nah, I could do. I, I, get, I, get, I definitely get it. I definitely get it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but kind of for what? Yo, it feel better. I hear that it feel better, but you don't, it don't feel oh, better when you got a kid. You oh, got a wow. kid, or you, you burn it when you pee, or you got some shit growing from your shit. You don't, you don't want none of that. So trust me, dog. Like, go get that. Go get the rubber. Go put that on and deal with the thing proper. You feel me? I don't know if he went and bought the condom. I can't say, but... You got hella honey buns, nigga. I just told you. I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick by next summer if he got a little ute walking around. (laughs) Hello, mom. Get my money back, nigga. (laughs) He's holding a baby at 14, 15, talking about, yo, this is my son or daughter, Barry. What? Don't don't play with me, bro. Yeah. Nah. You said give me my 12 back? I was about to say. My 12, nigga. I bought you a big pack, nigga. My 12 back. Nigga. Fuck out of here. Uh, no, no. Uh-uh. No, but, but I was also going to say, um, I give you this one step worse. Um, I didn't know this because, obviously, I haven't lived in Chicago in a long time. Um, my, my little sister, she had moved back to Chicago. And um, just for a couple of years, maybe a few years ago, but a couple of years she was there. And she was telling me that it's a trend. And I was like, what do you mean a trend? She was like, it's a trend for all the dudes to be fucking girls and say, I want you to have my baby. Like, that's the trend. Like, so basically, the niggas is trying to impregnate all the girls. And, like, it's trendy. It's what? like, it's cool. What? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm serious. That's, that, bro, that's rape. Um, no, no. No, no. You, 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 no, it's consent. You're saying it first. <laughs> and then, like, it's, it's consent. It, it ain't just, um, no. But it's this thing where it's like the dudes, they basically want to fuck raw and bust you, which I get it, because. What nigga don't want to fuck wrong, bust in? You know what I'm saying? I get that part. But Whew, child. But the, but imagine being like, yo, I want you to have my baby, and she's like, okay, and then it's like six babies later. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Yo. Like, shit. yo. So so basically, dudes is on their Nick Cannon. They out here just you know, I, shit. I'm trying not to tell my sister business. You know I'd be getting detailed, but she'd be watching the show, yeah. so let me relax. Uh, but at the end of the day, niggas be walking around with 10, 12, 13 kids with 10, 12, 13 chicks because they just want to bust in females, you know what I'm saying? And it, that's the thing. I want you to have my baby. It's like, nowhere that's in there did you say you want to be a father or a husband. <laughs> like, or nothing. Bro, that's, that, that's happening right now is what you're saying? Yes. That's nuts. That's, and this and this is in Chicago? From what she was telling me, and then based on that, when I put that with the article, I'm like, that makes sense. Because everybody having babies, man. Dudes be having like six or seven kids, nine kids. It's like, how you got nine kids, dog? You 22, how you got nine kids? That's wild, my nigga. Like, that's nuts. Nah, that's OD, bro. How you got six kids at 25? What's wrong with you? So, that's this OD. Is the thing. They, they're actively doing this. Yes. That's and I don't. And I'm in New York, and I don't got none. Okay. Shout out to you. Where's the gong? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> motherfucker got nine. Can I have one? <laughs> you got nine. Can I have one? <laughs> Yo. That's funny. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. But once again, listen, yeah. man. Protect the you. The you them. Teach them the ways. Teach them about sex ed. Teach them about condoms. Teach them about protecting themselves Make from another person. Thing. Make it a normal thing to have yeah. the conversation because clearly, no matter what we say, no matter what we do, we can't stop them from doing what they want to do. So at least allow them to protect themselves with the information that they get. So shout out to the school that's, that's, that's doing that. Yeah, no, 100%. You know shout saying? out to Chicago for doing that. Hopefully this continues because we need it. We need it. We need it. They need to do that in New York too. Shit. Mm. For sure, for sure. But um All right. yeah, 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 yeah. Next Let's topic. Do it. Yeah.
Name a non-negotiable boundary you have when you're in a romantic relationship. So here on Willow Wednesdays, a lot of times we we tell people, hey, you know, you should compromise in a relationship, communicate your, your issues, and try to find a way where the both of y'all could fix it with your problems and come together, see what it is that you can bend and remove sure. that you can work with your partner on. Yeah, but yeah. right now, we're going to talk about what is it that you are not tolerating at all. Mm. No matter whom it is, what it is, it don't, I'm talking about shorty that you been wanting, been wanting for the longest. Right. Now you meet her, and she does that one thing. What is that one thing that you don't give a fuck? Who it is you're not tolerating? Mm. That's Who? good. Do you do you have one? Do you have one? I got one. Go but ahead, you Willow. Cannot tolerate it all. Yeah, I got one. Okay. What is it? I hope you don't say mine, please. Yeah, that's why I went first. <laughs> um. Violence in the relationship. Okay. Uh, that's good. Okay. Violence. To uh, me, non-negotiable. You keep your hands to yourself. I'm gonna keep my hands to myself. We're gonna respect each other's bodies, at least in this exchange. Mm. Violence mm. to me is a non-negotiable. It's a no-fly zone. Red light. Park the car. Damn. I, that's mine. Okay. Damn, that's good. That's good. That's a good. Homie, don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They come out of nowhere. This is great. <laughs> oh um, shit. Okay. I love you got one, Dave? No, cause um, I really like his. <laughs> I'm not okay. No. Okay. No, but I really agree. Like in real life. Cause, mm-hmm. Yo, if you break my glasses one more fucking time. <laughs> Nigga, I wear glasses. I don't know how many times I got to keep fighting with women and they want to hit me in my face and break my fucking glasses. No. No. It's a non-negotiable. No violence. No, no is it? What is it? No, is it the hitting you or is it the glasses? Which one? It's, it's both, but it's like, <laughs> but because you keep with my glasses, my nigga, like, I need these. Don't be, you know, women always want to hit you in your glasses. It's like, no. Nah. Yo. Alright, so oh, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so Alright, yeah. um Alright, but if you got one, I'm gonna think now. My bad. That was a right, good one. Um, that was, that was mine good. Mine's I'm is good. Mine's now for sure is attacking a person's character. Mm. That okay. I'm not tolerating mm-hmm. from anybody. Mm-hmm. No matter what it is. You can be upset. We can both be upset. You can feel away, and I will never take that away from you. But at any point in time, you feel like you have to now because you feel away, attack me at who I am as a person. I like, oh, that's you. why you, your bum ass, live here. Wait, what? What we? Right, okay, right, right, right. Thirty second time out. We not doing this. Right. Let's let's right. let's let's end this here. Because right. clearly, you feel away about something deeper, and I don't right. got time for that. I agree with that one too. That, yes. that's that's mine. The the they, they, the they, violence is they, the hey the violence is for sure not your partner. Right. Yeah, the, the violence is, is of course without a doubt, but that for me it. No, I listen, I don't I don't I don't Jamaica's, I don't play I don't play patty cake with people's daughters. I don't I don't play <laughs> I don't do these things, you know what I'm saying? I we I keep my hands to myself. So you telling me you, you at any point in time you Attack me as a man and who I am at my core, right? Because you feel a way, right? This is not this. This I'm not the person for you. You can call me a punk. You can call me soft. It right. don't matter. I'll take all that. I'm okay. that's I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. That I'm not dealing with. Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. Mm, okay. Huh. So it it'll be what y'all just said. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to um, piggyback. I'm going to piggyback. Yeah. But I'll give you one for me. Like, this is literally me. I don't know if every man is like this. But um, I need a person who is willing to communicate your feelings to me for real. Like, if okay, I ask that's you, for you. How you, okay. how you, for me, because everybody don't care about that. But the type of person I am, I'm the type of person that's going to always let you know how I feel. And I don't want to have to read this from you. 
because I don't know what the fuck you're thinking. So, I've now tried this. I, I'll even say that I'm, I'm, I'm growing, right? So, I get that everybody don't communicate the same way. You know, you have to learn how people communicate and all of that. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you have to find some way to communicate to me what's going on. Um, I can't fuck with a person that can't let me know what's going on. However you want to do it. Sing a song, write a poem. Do a flip, nigga. I don't whatever the, whatever it is. It's like, oh, when you do two flips, that means she's mad. Okay, cool. Whatever it is. But I need to understand because I'm not gonna spend my life trying to figure out what it is. Yeah, I'm not a mind you. reader. I agree. I agree. And, I'm not a mind reader. And I just I can't do it. I I'm, especially when I'm the type of person that's like I'm dumb, open. Like I'm open. <laughs> like I will tell you whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm the wrong person. Like, I will tell you whatever. How you feel? I'm hungry. How you feel? I'm cold. How you feel? What I, nigga, I'll, I'll tell you. You ain't never got to guess with Dane. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's me. Right. So why the fuck I got to guess with you? It don't make no sense. So non-negotiable. Non-negotiable. You got to be able to communicate with me what's going on. Because I don't know how to act. I don't, yeah. So that's a me thing. But I like what y'all said. Well, you got another that's, one? That's valid. That's valid. Yeah. You gotta okay. know some way. I get what you're saying. For me, it's not a that's not a terrible thing. It's a, that it sounds so me. bad to say, but I get no, that. I get for you, it. it's a non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable because I'm too open. Like you cheating. Got you. <laughs> like you cheating. Mm-hmm. Communication period. Yes, but it but it's but mo- not just no. You got to tell me what's going on. I have to be able to know. If you had a bad day, I'm not saying you got to walk in and say, "Hey, babe, I had a bad day." Fine, maybe that's right. maybe you the silent type. Cool. But you gotta be up uh, something. You know what I mean? You gotta be able to let a nigga know, okay, she chill. Right. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't know what the, uh, Something. Willa, do you got one? You got another one, Willa? Um. Damn, I, I, had, I had that really, really good one. Let me see if I got. Let me see if I got a free right. Really? You can't um, piggyback off yourself? <laughs> piggyback off yourself. <laughs> You can't get your own rebound, nigga. You can't get that. Nah, I gotta. Nah. Let me see. The offensive board. Yo, shout out to the Bucks once again. Hey, you saw Fact. that? That was, that was alley oop. See, yeah. I did too. See, that was the Bucks. Yeah. I know what I was doing there. So I got another one. What's the topic again? Oh, this <laughs> is. Oh, that edible just hit. Non-negotiables in a relationship <laughs> for you. Non-negotiables. Mm. That violence one was real, though. That was real. No, that, that's, that's, yeah. I got another one for myself as well. I got another one for me. Okay. Do you want yeah, me to go, Willow, or you got one? Yeah, yeah. Do your thing, do your thing. Another one for me is, now as well, is you got to be able to at least to take some type of accountability for anything. I'm, I'm, Accountability. Yes. Accountability. No, no, accountability. no accountability. Non-negotiable. Can't fuck with you. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a non-negotiable. Now, because... <laughs> now, for sure. Uh, in my life, uh, I've had a lot... I've been with enough to know not a lot of people take accountability. So now, if you can't even just accept... Say, hey, now, nah, not for nothing, I am bugging. I am wilding. I, or I was... That means you just feel like you never wrong. You you just want to do the fuck shit you you been doing, gonna do all the time, all day. Nah, we well, can't. And, we can't. And, and people know they be doing some fuck shit. Like, no, you know, I agree with that. Like, I agree know. with that. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with that. Some people they love to do. Yo, niggas love to just point the finger, but it's like they can't never just be like, alright, I was I was tripping. Yo, and yeah, hey, guess yeah, what? We I was I was yo, as a man, I be fucking up, and I'm. I say this all the time. I say, yo, yeah, I, I fuck up, and I'm going to fuck up in the future. It's a fact. I'm going to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? But when I do some shit and I catch it, yo, you, my fault. That's on me. I have yeah. to say that. But if you're telling me you tripping, and then when you tripping, you're going to sit here and tell me, nah, you know what I'm saying? It's just because you was just... No, 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 no. Check this out. You was just tripping because you felt like tripping. And because you felt like tripping, you need to just check yourself. Even if, yo, you don't even got to tell me you was tripping. I need you to tell yourself you was tripping. And that's a big thing. Mm, yeah. No, you don't even got to tell me you was tripping. Tell you, you need to recognize that with you. Hey, you know what, Bari? You was wild. Hey, whatever person, whomever, whomever you may be. Hey, yo, you know what? I was tripping. Yo, why are you bugging out like that? 
Because once you could check yourself about it, then there's no other conversation we need to have. But if you can't even tell yourself you're tripping, you know what? Check this out. I'm not the one for you. Yeah. No, I agree. I couldn't date a person like that. I couldn't date a person that don't don't take no accountability. I'm with you. I, no. I agree. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't even be. I don't even want to be around you. Okay. I don't even want to be around people like it's that. Al- it's always somebody else's fault. It's always somebody else. Hey. It's always something that made you do something. Yeah, nigga, every time? Yeah. Every single time somebody made you do some shit? Yeah, I ain't got time for that. Nah. No, like every nah. time, bro. Like every time. Yo, Willa, every time it's somebody else's fault while you was wilding. That's nuts. That's nuts. Like every time? You got an excuse every time. That's Devontae calling foul. <laughs> foul! Foul on the plate. Why did you foul. travel? Because I fouled. I got fouled. I got fouled. I got fouled. I got fouled. How you missed that shot? Because I got fouled. Foul. <laughs> yeah, foul. No, it's you. It's you. <laughs> it's you. I'm going to stay on that. I don't care. Yeah. I, I... Wait, you got another? Yo. You got Anybody got one? You just say, yo, what? I was just going to say, shout out to Deontay. Uh, Devontae. Yeah. Uh, Devontae, he was out here. Uh, in... Kicked it with us the other day, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dev- yeah, Devontae in the A. Yeah, man. Shout out to have- brother Devontae. Have fun. Does out anybody here, else have another one? They, another non-negotiable for themselves? For the most part, everything else. Oh, and don't steal from me. Oh. Don't, don't, don't steal. Agreed. I, I don't fuck with thieves. Agreed. Oh, you don't fuck uh, with thieves at all. No. Don't, you don't, have, because to be honest. Okay, most people won't take my main shit. But my other shit, you could just probably have. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not one of them people that's like, no, get off me. You know, it's like, if you, mm. you know, you know, don't take my bed. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, like, what? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Like, nothing crazy. But it's like, for the most part, it's like, you could ask me. Can I? Have, yeah. Can I? Yes. Can you? Sure. I'm not one of them people who you have Nigga to Nigga said, just from. don't. He said, I don't fuck with thieves. <laughs> I don't though, like nah, cause niggas. Nigga said, "Don't steal my bed." Yeah, like, <laughs> of all things, the nigga said, "My bed." Like, really, your bed, bro? No, 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 no. What I was saying with the bed is like, I wouldn't give you my bed, but I'm just saying I would give you practically everything else. Is my point? That was my point. My okay. Bed, I was yeah, I would give. You don't have to steal from me. I give it to you. It's okay. You just have it. I don't care. I just left mad shit. I live in Atlanta. I just left mad shit in New York. I left a whole TV. You don't got to steal it. You can have it. Your ass didn't even get it. Now you, matter of fact, Barry, now you like a bum ass nigga with no TV. Because I tried to give you a, a fucking TV and your punk ass couldn't come and get it. No. Wait, I see you. wait why? Why he just cussed you? <laughs> what? Oh, nigga, what? <laughs> it just dawned on me. Now that I think about that shit. No. Fuck Yo. you. I can't even, yo, you know when you get boxed by your mom or dad or some shit, and you just like, but what did I do? What did I do? I, what? Yo. yo. It just got me, it got me in my head. Like, I Dave just went off, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I, I'm sorry. But it's not even, I didn't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. <laughs> what? Yo, bro, I'm look. Yo, bro, I'm looking at the camera. Yo, bum ass. Fuck wrong with you, nigga. <laughs> bum ass piece of shit. So, yo, bro, nah, 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 nah. You not doing that. We not doing that. We not. Do, we not doing that. We not doing that. We not doing that, bro. We not doing that. We not doing that. We are not doing that, bro. Why you ain't getting That's crazy. Because not for fired. nothing, you just two piece and hit me with a two piece of the biscuit, and I don't even know why. Like, nigga hit me with some shit, bro. I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> no, it just, oh, it just dawned on me because I left so much shit in that apartment, man. <laughs> like, yes, yes, uh, all right, bro. Like, I guess. No, 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 I, don't, I guess. Like, I don't know what to say. I, I, I guess. I don't know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Like, okay, my bad. Damn. You you left, you left some shit. You left some shit. It's my bad. Okay. I just left mad shit. And I'm, I'm it like, is my fault. It is my fault. 
You left your shit. The, it's my fault. The TV, the TV is your fault. But everything. Yo, else. bro. Yo, Dave. Fuck you. Yo, <laughs> now <laughs> fuck you. How the fuck you gonna tell me it's my fault? You left some shit. <laughs> Yo, bro. I don't get it. Like it's your fault. No, no, no. I hope Wade can zoom in on this part. It's your fault, and then <laughs> it's your fault that you left some all right. shit. All right. All right. All right. But all it's right. me. Okay, you're right. Now I take right. that. You my man's. I take that. Yo, fuck the right. you, bro. I like that. That's your man. Yo. All right. All right. Yo, this, yo, Willow was on the same page as me. This nigga Dame. <laughs> deep down, I just wonder who got that TV. I want to <laughs> know who the fuck is watching <laughs> my fucking TV. Like, I, I like... I left a whole team. Who the fuck is like, yo, yo and, and with the remote and everything. Like, somebody right <laughs> now. <laughs> somebody right now in Brooklyn. Is I don't know. But the nigga is over here TV. sick about a TV, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Right. Nah, 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 nah. Oh. Right. I'm done. I'm done. Yo, somebody people- watch. Somebody watching Willow Wednesdays right now on the fucking on, TV on bro. Dame TV, bro. That's hilarious. Yo, bro, nah, so, I ain't gonna hold the, you. Now I know Yellow this may not make, make sense for the people watching, but pretty much I moved to Atlanta and I had a lot of shit that I couldn't bring with me. One of those things, you know. Oh, man, you want to, you want this to be your fucking life story or some shit? That we know. Hell yeah, that. no. I, let's yo, not, I yo, wait, wait, stop it. Wait, stop. Wait, wait stop. you could have got the TV. Yo, Wade could have got the TV too. Fuck yo, yo the nigga Dame hits niggas the, like three hours before he leaves. Like, yo, anybody want a TV? Huh? I, oh, nigga, I'm at work. What are you talking? Yo, fuck y'all. Fuck that TV. Yo. Apparently. Woo, all right. Shit. Let's get the fuck up out of here. Hey, uh, this is the end of Willow Wednesdays. Uh, niggas. Um, thank you to come. Ladies and gentlemen. Facts. Thank y'all for coming to church. Um, we spoke Word. some real shit, some good shit, some some insightful shit, some shit shit. It, it, it's, right. it's a vibe. It's a vibe. Okay, and because you of that, what? Yo, Will, are you high? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yo, Wade, <laughs> your boy. So because of all of that, I want to say thank y'all, man. It's been mm-hmm. a great pleasure to do this. Let's do it again mm-hmm. sometime. Yeah, next probably week. next week. Yeah, fuck it. Let's Maybe it think week. about it. Think yeah. about it, maybe. We don't know what could happen in a week. We'll, we'll, we'll do it. You know what I'm again. saying? We'll, we'll see. But yo, everybody, hit the like and subscribe button. Gang. Comment, bring somebody to church. Wait. Yo, we going to Kanye, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can, we, can, we, can we talk some shit real quick? I, I, mm-hmm. I just, Bro. Don't, don't think I forgot. I Come on, listen. Out. The Kanye West um, album release party. It's in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Uh, we in Atlanta. We in the A. That's what we doing. Um, we about to watch history. I, I I honestly believe this might be one of his last albums. This might be the last. I think, album. I Why feel you like think he's that? done too. I just feel like he's done, man. We got you know. I, I just feel like this is yeah. the album, and I feel like he's going out trying to kill niggas, and I'm so excited for Thursday. So excited. Oh, I we forgot one other person who whose birthday was today. But they also passed two years ago. R.I.P. Pop Smoke. His birthday is today, also. Today? Yeah. Wow. Well, yesterday. Well, I get it, but I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Yeah. R.I.P. Wow. Pop Smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, the for sure, for sure. His album clear. just came out. Yeah, this, so his we, album just came out, and I'm another, not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Yeah, they dropped it's another. Another Pop pretty, Smoke album. Yeah, they just came out like yeah. last week or two weeks ago. It was wow. pretty good. I ain't can't even lie. Okay. I think it was two weeks ago. Okay. I, I, uh, uh, I like it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I like it. I what like it. I, 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 I'm an artist. So I, make I know it quick, Willow. Make it quick. Make it quick. Got you. Got you. Got you. I, I know what it is just to record some shit or get an idea down or that's not 100% just yet. So I don't want the world to hear that just yet because I'm still right. working on it. That's what it sounded like. That part of the process. What I feel like, this, especially this last project, what I felt like it was, it was a bunch of incomplete shit that Pop was working on. Right. He didn't get to fully mold the idea. He didn't get to do him on it for real. It was like a skeleton of what could be. Right. And then, mm-hmm. bro, you record 
daily, nigga. You got a billion skeletons of, of something that it could be something. Right. I feel like no, they, they, they they took those and then they made a bunch of songs out of it. So there's, 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 there's no cohesion. Fucking the, 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 the verses is off. Right. I, yeah. I, it's weird. No, that's the same shit with all of the Michael Jackson music. And, and, and you saw the This Is It movie. It was an undone movie. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, so, you know, everybody was mad. Like, with, why would you put out an undone practice concert? You know what I'm saying? Like, I get that as fans, we just want to love our people. Like, love Pop Smoke. Love right. that, love our people. But, ugh, it's tough. Because I got a lot Don't of just, unfinished. Yeah. Don't just you put know? some, I see what you're saying. Don't just put some shit out because we miss them. Yeah, I mean. Because it's, it's not it. This, this, this was not right. the finished product that I wanted the world to see. You know what's crazy? I'm in the middle. And I'm only saying that because, fine. God forbid something was to happen to me today. I would want y'all to at least hear what the fuck I was working on. But at the same time, I know that it's not complete. So there's also a part of me that's like, I don't want y'all to hear this yet. <laughs> like, like, I want to... They, I, I heard whispers that they got a they got like a second Nipsey album over there. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I us being Nipsey fans, I want to hear it. But we know. But it's if, not like finished. you said, but I it's not a finished product. I don't. I get like, it. It's like that. Like I said, I, call me different if I'm different. But I'm 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 that artist, Dave. You know this. I, if I record something that night, I damn near I don't want to send it to nobody, Dave. You be asking, yo, yo, send that, send that, send that. I don't want to because I that nigga Dan be secretly putting his email in it. <laughs> no, no, he started, he started. He started that. He started it all the time because this nigga don't ever want to get nobody shit. But I, I won't send it because the reason why I won't send it is I'm I'm the most insecure right now. Of course, this I get not, it. That's your shit. That's this your is shit. not a finished. This is not a finished product just yet. Mm-hmm. This it's not even damn near finished. This is just my this is my raw idea. That's your, right. It's your kid. You got. Yeah. It, it, it's weird. So. But, nah, it's. I'm never saying. I hear where Dame was mm-hmm. coming from. Yes, you want you want people to hear what you were working on. You want to hit, you want people to hear the greatness. I take it from like the really premature. Not, not premature, but that that young artist. I I go back to that mind frame of. Let me form this. Let me mold this into what I want you to see, and then I'll let you see it. Yeah, but if you... Oh, okay, I'm not, and once again, that's why I we say can't, I'm not We can't sit here and say and argue all day, because yeah, we're yeah, already yeah. at 130. Obviously, obviously, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing, because I do agree. But I do also... There is a lot of stuff that I'm working on, and even, even in this uncompleteness, it's still great, because I still feel that I'm great. You know, and, and I still feel like people who wanted music... From you know, um, that's why I say I, I hate to talk like this because we talking as if we're dead or some shit. But yeah. <laughs> but you know, if if God forbid something was to happen, it's like I like I would want to leave like the password to my computer to somebody. So it's like yo, go through, you know what I'm saying, and put all this out. Fuck it, like I, you know, like you know. Right, no, I get I, it. But I, trust me, I get it. I I get it. I well, get yeah, it. I get it. It's still there. I, I wouldn't want it just to end with what I've done. Like I'm still also doing extra stuff. So I, that's I, all, man. I guess I, I guess what it. I'm just saying is make make sure that if I'm gone and I can't finish it, make sure my shit is fire, and don't come out <laughs> and have no for real. Right, right, be right. Fire, bro. Right, because right. Because I know what I was working on, so don't half-ass no bullshit. I feel like the last pop smoke shit. I feel like it was half-assed to me personally. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel like it was. Do a lipper and pop smoke would never have a fucking feature. Like, right. It's just that's only happening because it's the industry and we're all rallying behind him. It's like. Bro, there's mad records and mad people that I know that he did music with, but it's not on it because it's not supposed to be the hood album. This is Pop Smoke Glass album, so we have to make it make it something. Right. And then and then apparently it bro, wasn't it, bro, I, I haven't Smoke, heard it. That nigga would have been no, I I heard it. So what I'm saying is that nigga would have been right up in the hood fucking with who he was fucking with to make a dope ass project for the hood. And that's what have been that. But what happened was he passed away, so now the label's like, Oh, this is his last album ever. His second album after death, we have to make it into a skeptical. Like it has to be bigger than what it is. Pop was not gonna have these verses that he had and these features that he had. Right. No, I get it. They did that shit with Michael Jackson. Michael that's why I keep naming him. Michael Jackson's had dope ass albums that we know Mike didn't touch at all. Yeah, <laughs> he, he wouldn't have done that shit. 
Mike got songs with Akon and T-Pain and all kind of people that Mike wasn't even there for. It's like, what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah. Same shit with the, the DMX album. The last DMX album. You know, so. Did you like that? Matter of fact, we got, yo, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. go. We got to go. We got to go. See you Once week. again, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, bring somebody to church. Comment, all that good shit. If you agree with us, write it in the comments. If you don't. You're making me He's making me throw signs. I don't even All know that shit, you know what I'm saying? But we love y'all. See y'all next week. Oh, hey, I'm we got excited. a Toxic Fridays coming out this Friday from uh, okay. the homie who was on the episode last week, Wale from Wale and Friends. I Pretty work. good. We also got a Toxic Friday from Dame earlier this episode. I'm going to cut it out. Watch. I'm, I'm going to get that clip. What, Sweaty <laughs> Knees? Yeah, yeah. With Sweaty <laughs> Knees, that's a Toxic Friday. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. Well, we, oh, and we got y'all. We got y'all Toxic Friday too that we never came out with. I got it in my phone right here. We got a yeah, few, yeah. man. Let's do it. So, yeah, so 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 stay tuned for the extra content. Peace, love, and hair grease, y'all. Word. See y'all next week, man. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, 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 and click the bell for notifications. Mm -hmm. And make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Peace. Bow.